right, so we're going to be talking about layer three lucid dreams. You may have seen my other videos, layer one and layer two. Um, they are basically layer one is non-lucid, so you're just having a normal dream. Layer two is semi-lucid, so you're sort of aware that you're dreaming, but you're not really in control. Layer three is essentially a lucid dream. This is another name for a lucid dream, and I'm going to be explaining, you know, what it feels like, uh, what you can expect, what to be worried about, what to, you know, what to prepare for. Um, so stick with me till the end of this video and I'm going to explain exactly what a layer 3 lucid dream is. So to avoid confusion, when I say layer 3 lucid dream, I mean just your, your bog standard lucid dream. You're just aware of the fact you're dreaming, you can control what you do, you can manipulate various things, but you don't have an incredibly high level of control, it's more sort of a basic level. So what I mean by that is you can decide where you walk, you can decide what to do, what to pick up, who to talk to, what to say but you can't control everything in the sense that you can't you can't do advanced things very well you might be lucid you might be in a layer 3 lucid dream for maybe 30 seconds or so and then you could wake up this is very common especially with beginners is that when you first learn how to actually get to layer 3 so when you first learn how to get to layer 3 the chances are that when you get there it's going to be very hard to stay there you're going to be it's going to be a fragile state you're going to wake yourself up easily especially if you do things like having lucid dreaming sex i mentioned this in my things to never do in the lucid dream video which i'll put a link in the description so the more exciting things you do the more likely it is you'll wake yourself up but don't let that put you off because yes it might be a fragile state but if you stick with it it will eventually turn into layer 4 and layer 5 lucid dreams which are much more profound and interesting. So once you're lucid, you're in layer 3 dream, you become lucid or you enter the level as soon as you're aware that you're dreaming. And as soon as you are aware that you're dreaming and you can sort of decide what to do. Almost like you've just woken up and you can walk around, you can decide to walk down a certain street, you can decide to talk to certain people, uh, whatever the case may be. But that is what makes it a level 3 lucid dream. It's when you're aware that you're dreaming, and you can sort of decide what to do. You can decide like what you want to do as the dream character. That's the important part. So layer two, semi-lucid, you're not really in control, but you might be aware that you're dreaming. Layer three, you are aware you're dreaming and you're in control. You can decide what to do. Now, like I said in other videos, you don't have to have control over everything. And in fact, some of my favorite lucid dreams are the ones where it's slightly on a slightly lower level because you're aware that you're dreaming, you can decide what to do and you can sort of interact with things but you don't have complete control so the dream still surprises you and they're some of the most profound interesting dreams because they, they let you get in the middle of the process of your subconscious mind filtering through memories and all, all this sort of exciting stuff like that so they're the best type of dreams, the ones where you're in control but not too in control, you, you're sort of in the middle Right. If you've reached layer 3, this is a great place to be. This is sort of what most people aim for when they have lucid dreams. It's just being able to be in control of what they're doing. Aware that you're dreaming, in control of what you're doing. So to get to this layer, there are several things you could have been doing. You could have been meditating, you could have been doing reality checks, whatever the case may be. To get to the higher levels, so to get to layer 4 and above, you're going to need to be doing certain things religiously every day. You're going to need to be meditating. Okay, you're going to need to be doing your reality checks. Writing your dreams down, this should be a habit by now. You're going to need to be practicing prolonging techniques or stabilization methods when you're lucid. For example, spinning around on the spot, rubbing your hands together, meditating in the dream. All of these things are good right, for reaching the higher layers, the higher levels of lucid dreaming, if you like. But if you've reached layer three, congratulations, that's really good. Like, you should be very proud of yourself. A lot of people find it very difficult to get to this place because they just don't know how to do it. Okay. Now, if you are one of those people, if you're struggling to get to layer three, maybe you've had layer two, you're sort of semi-lucid, and you don't know how to go any further, I would strongly encourage you to watch my videos. At the end of each video now, there'll be a, a link to watch another video from my channel. Watch my videos, listen to what I'm saying, and, and practice the techniques. If you want a more fast-track approach, then obviously go to howtolucid.com and buy the bootcamp. That will take you exactly through the steps you need to take for a month in order to have your first lucid dream very soon. But like I said, you don't have to buy that. Like, You can very easily have lucid dreams just by practicing the techniques that I teach on this channel or that you read elsewhere, as long as you actually do it. Um, you know, As long as you motivate yourself to actually take the steps every day to do this stuff, then you'll be fine. And you'll reach layer three, hopefully four and five, uh, and beyond. So to recap, layer three, layer three is just a normal lucid dream. You're aware that you're dreaming, you're in control of what you're doing as a dream character, 
and you can control the dream to some degree. One of the main downsides of layer 3 is that they're often not very stable. You're often going to be lucid for 30 seconds and you're vividly aware that you're dreaming, but then maybe you'll wake up instantly or you'll you know, excite yourself too much and just end the dream. So that is where we get onto layer 4, which is more of a stable sort of deep state of lucid dreaming, which we're going to explain in the next video. But for now, just understand that if you've reached this layer, if you're here, if you're on layer 3 lucid dreaming, you're doing really well. Um, if you haven't, then that's fine. Just go back to layer 1 and layer 2 and sort of work your way up from there. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, check out my other channel, and I'll see you next time.